And now, your first Alert 5 weather. Well, as we saw from Bill's live shot downtown, looking very festive. I mean, these white lights are pretty much up year round, but now that Acacia Park is lit up, definitely getting in the holiday spirit. We've had some pretty nice warm days so far in November, so we are going to see a change to come, and you might appreciate this change to cooler weather and even snow for some. It's 48 right now in Colorado Springs. It's going to be a clear evening for us. We'll just have a few clouds moving in overnight. As far as temperatures right now, we're generally about 48 in the springs, 50 in Pueblo. Cooling off now in Woodland Park to 40 degrees. Overnight, we'll drop below freezing. 20s, 30s to wake up tomorrow morning, and then we will be in for another pleasant day if you're headed to the Air Force football game, which Brady will have more details about coming up in a few minutes. It's going to be lovely, upper 50s at the Air Force Academy, so all you'll need is a light jacket. We'll have some increasing clouds throughout the daytime during the game. So for tomorrow's highs across the region, I've got up to 71 in Springfield. That will be the hot spot across our area. 63 for Lyman, 67 in Pueblo, and 62 in the Springs. We'll have 50s into the higher elevations in our mountain valleys. So we start out the weekend on a nice warm note, and we'll see temperatures fall gradually each day. For Sunday, 40s, 50s, and 60s. And then Monday, we're down to the 40s and 50s, even some upper 30s. So we are watching for a cool down thanks to our next storm system moving in. So going through that future cast, we are going to see clouds increase on Saturday. We'll start to see snow in the mountains along and west of the continental divide. But then a stronger push of energy moves in Sunday and that gives us our chance of moisture. More mountain snow throughout the day on Sunday. Then Sunday evening, we'll have a mix of rain and snow. That rain snow line around six to 7,000 feet Sunday evening. Then most of us will see a transition to snow overnight into the day on Monday, favoring El Paso County, Teller County, our mountains, and the Raton Pass area. And then things will start to wrap up by Monday evening. So this is my first look at snow totals. There's going to be a pretty large range for some of you, especially Trinidad Walsenburg. Still some details to hammer out for you, but expect anywhere between about one to three, one to four. Pueblo not looking at a significant accumulation, maybe just the grass, a little dusting. Zero to one for the springs, two to four monument, three to six in Woodland Park. That will be Sunday evening through Monday afternoon. Now, another part of the forecast looking ahead is Monday is going to be very windy. This storm isn't packing a lot of moisture for the springs, but it is packing a lot of wind. Those wind gusts will be solid into the 30 as high as 40 mile per hour range all day long. It will feel like the middle 30s with that wind chill factor. And then looking ahead to Thanksgiving for now, looks dry, but we are looking at a cold front. We'll be at 49 Thursday down to 40 for Black Friday. For Pueblo, you'll see mostly rain, a little flurry action Sunday night. Very low impacts from this upcoming storm, and it will keep us on the cool side to start the week. Then 53 for Thanksgiving, down to 41 by Black Friday. Canyon City, 60s this weekend, followed by 50s to start the week with minimal impacts from the moisture ahead. Then up to 52 for Thanksgiving Day. Woodland Park, you'll see several inches of snow, so slightly higher impacts. You'll have to shovel out on Monday. Looking ahead to Thanksgiving, a high of 44. Brady. Alex, thank you.